Ugly baby. Ugly baby. No more chow chow for you, you. Seven, six, uh, five, four, three, two, one. It's curtains for you. Yeah, it is. Shower curtains. Nice. <laughs> That's awful. Stealing my money. Stealing money. Nope. Stealing all the money from the back. That person's going to You're 10 minutes correct. Three more tries. Can I get Nope. Not this time. The question again was, what was your dad in prison for while on vacation? Stealing from the museum. Correct! Your dad should return those bones. History of the Golden Gate Bridge. People invented the bridge. A long platform combining two platforms so that people can walk across. They did it with a bunch of metal, metal pieces, pieces and just stick them together with super glue. It took five years to build the bridge. Unfortunately, they lost a thousand workers because they stuck themselves to the bridge. Fun fact, did you know that a fort can stick to the Golden Gate Bridge with tape, but it cannot stick to the Golden Gate Bridge without tape? They just invented cars to go across the bridge, but when a car ran over, the bridge kept falling down over and over and over and over and over again. Over the past years, seven million people died because of the bridge collapsing. And then after they were buried, over, over like five years, they got all the flesh and bones and they rebuilt the bridge with them. That's why the bridge is red. The Golden Gate Bridge isn't golden. Another problem with the Golden Gate Bridge was people felt compelled to jump off the bridge. So people countered this feeling by putting giant brick walls around the Golden Gate Bridge. What made people jump off the bridge so much was a hypnotic sea monster. It hypnotized so many people that the bridge became a popular skydiving location where everyone could only skydive once. Hey, Bug, what's bugging you? Ah! When people tease when me. When people tease me. Credit card reader. I was four. And I was four. Went to Hawaii. I went to Hawaii. I was chasing this boy around in tide pools because he stole my credit card. I was only four. And he was faster than I was. He was like seven. I was only four. And I put my hand down, and there was a sea urchin on there. I was four. And I was four. Went to Hawaii. We went to the emergency room. It took forever to wait in line there. Before that, I think I ate some mac and cheese. Tongabayo! I was mountain biking. I saw that a tree was on fire. Then Kongabaya came out and saved me by putting out the fire. One day when I was going to the airport, 
I was in economy, and then Kunga Bio came along, and he helped me get first class with the people at the front desk because they were really stubborn. That was great because I got lunch, and I had um, a good dessert of brownies, which he made for me. Uh, my cheese plate was stolen out of my refrigerator. I heard a little thump from the upstairs of my apartment, and I heard a little gravel <laughs> and, a, and a bit of a yowl. <laughs> And then I heard, Kungabaya! He just came walking down through my door of my apartment. And he took off his salami necklace and put it on the platter. And he took out a block of moldy cheese from his pocket. And he put it on my plate. And it saved my life. Fun fact, my ex-husband got my engagement ring at the $2 store. <laughs> Never liked him. <laughs> Where did we hide the dynamite in the car? Um, on your seat? Well, I know it's going to explode, so it wouldn't be there. Red team? In the trunk. That's right, the dynamite is in the trunk! Our dad, usually for breakfast, he eats chicken wings with hot sauce and, and syrup. Follow that thread, now take us right to bedtime. And for, and for bedtime, he falls asleep to death metal bands. Okay, that's great. Now what I'm going to do is shake the background so that it looks like you're listening to music from death metal bands. And in the afternoon, instead of... Don't when drop he, it now. You got he, it. He doesn't eat a turkey sandwich. There you he go. eats a beef jerky sandwich. Yeah, pretty good. But can we punch it up a little bit? And then he... And then he puts syrup on it. Yes, yes. The Gross Romance. Two kids met in a park in France. They fell in love. One of them had a cat. The other had a dog. Though they were just kids, their love was as deep as the ocean. The dog and cat loved each other too. The kids and the animals decided to have a double wedding. After the ceremony, the dog and cat ran away from their kid owners to a romantic beach. A cute bunny duplicated itself. One went to the kids, and the other followed the animals to the beach. Both wanted to kill them. The bunnies tried to coax them all into the guillotines. But when the bunny with the pets tried to cut their heads off, a shark jumped out of the ocean and ate it. The kids were busy looking at the Mona Lisa, while other bunny was setting up creatines behind them. It changed its mind and decided to kill the kids with a gigantic frog that was carrying a sword. The frog threw its sword, missed the kids, sliced the Mona Lisa, and security guards rushed in. The bunny tried to push the kids into the guillotine. Just, Just when, when the bunny was going to pull the string and to drop the blade, the, the dog and cat rushed, rushed in and, and shot on him. The kids and their pets ran out of the museum. The gigantic frog ran after them. When it started raining, chew. The cat saw an opportunity and bit the frog's head off. The frog went <laughs> and killed the pets. This story is awfully violent. Let's bring a, a message of earth awareness to balance it out. The kids did not like to litter, so they threw their dead pets in the trash. That's a beautiful sentiment. Thank you for putting your dead pets in the trash and saving the earth. The kids went back to the park where they had met and kissed. The bunny popped up from a hole in the ground. It shot the kids kissing and was so grossed out that it ate a cyanide pill. The pill had expired, so it just threw up a lot. <laughs> In case you didn't know, uh, there's a bin now next to the compost specifically for bunny vomit. It's the purple bin. Please deposit your bunny vomit in the purple bin. That's two more, which brings you up to uh, uh, 11 points. Duh. What's the matter? Don't know how to do math? You know, we only listen to you because you have a dragon. Yep. Hey, Bog. What's bugging you? Ah! 
When I break my bones. <laughs> Old boot. I don't have holes in my body, sir. I'll ask the question one more time. Do you believe that the sponge was holy? Yes. And now that the community is mourning its loss, do you have any remorse whatsoever? No. And what would you say to the millions of couples who are at home right now crushed by the loss of the sponge? Well, tell them to get divorced. Sadly, that's most likely what will happen because not only was the sponge a revered holy being, it was also a renowned marriage therapist. I have a question. Who's keeping the kids? I'll tell you right now, it won't be you. You shouldn't be anywhere near kids. Anything else you want to say before we wrap this up? I knew it! It was too holy for me. Take her away! <laughs> taco Man. There once was a taco. The taco was a very bland taco. His mom always wanted him to be better because he was always born with very bland meat and lettuce. Taco Tom, you shouldn't be so bland. You shouldn't be so bland. You should do more. You should do better. You should be a little spicy. But isn't it on, on Taco Mom to give Taco Tom what Taco Tom needs? to thrive in this world? Taco Mom abandoned Taco Tom. Then, one day, he met a guy named Bong. As Taco was nice, Bong decided to give him superpowers, as Bong Wait, wait, Bong just like- Hey, you doing? You, uh, you look nice. You look real nice. You wanna fly? Once he gave Taco superpowers, Taco then lived happily ever after. That's all it was- <laughs> That's all he needed was just superpowers? <laughs> Well, well, he probably, like, got revenge. Scene two, the revenge of Taco Man. He then walked into his mom's house and said, I will get revenge on you. I have superpowers now. Bong gave them to me. Taco Tom then gave Taco Mom four seconds to run before he would blow up the entire house. One second for every cent you paid me for every hour I worked, Mom. Remember? Worked my taco fingers to the bone for you, Mom. You better run, Mom. The entire house exploded and, and, and Taco Mom did not make it out. There was then a very sad moment as Taco Mom said her final words. You were the worst of my tacos. Fun fact, when you leave the door open, my dad will f in the house. The following message is for Jerry. Jerry, please do not peel chickens. Why do people soak their shoes in gasoline and light them on fire? Purple team. Because, they're, because their feet sweat. For as long as there have been humans, there have been humans lighting their feet ablaze to remedy their perspiration. One point. <laughs> Blender. Hey, Bog. What's bugging you? Hey, ah! bug that's flying into my ear right now. Ow, ow, ow. What happens when people eat too much jerky? Purple team. Oh, uh, they fly away. They fly away every time? No. Sometimes they could pop on something. Or they, yeah, pretty, pretty much. Do you know right. what jerky is? No. Drag your meat in long strips. Conga bio. I was being executed for reasons I cannot remember. The person had been putting me in the guillotine. And then I saw Conga bio drinking olive oil and storing it in his congas. And then Conga bio suddenly knocked over the person executing me and put me out of the guillotine and executed him instead. I was excited that Conga Bio had saved my life, so I gave him a salty ice cream that I had made. He really liked it, and so we became friends, and I taught him how to make salty ice cream, and then we decided to form a business. At first our business was very successful, however we began losing customers very quickly because people didn't like our salty ice cream. Conga Bio started flirting with people, he decided to play the accordion, but the only song he could play on the accordion is never gonna give 
give you up by Rick Astley. As our business was failing, I decided to call it quicks, but that made Congabio mad, and he started shoving salted ice cream under people's throats, and we got put in jail for that. Do you know much about how olive oil affects uh, horse people? No, I've heard rumors about that it's really bad for them. Uh, I come to know Congabio because uh, every month, he comes to my olive oil shop and buys like, all the olive oil. And it kind of makes me sad, but I do get a staple income because of him. I think he might be a little too addicted to my olive oil. Um, I heard that he like, sometimes drizzles it on his salty ice cream. There's been a lot of news stories and YouTube videos about like Congo Bio just like doing really crazy things and bad things. I've heard he's been specifically targeting content creators on social media. Sadly. I think that people know that his ice cream is not good and they don't want it. And he has really bad anger issues. So me and my pals believe that he likes to make salty ice cream and then sell water because he knows that people are going to get thirsty. I think that it's a scam. I have heard that he likes to go to weddings and funerals and flirt with the brides and the people in the caskets. We saw a little chemistry between my mother and um, Conga Bonga, right? Conga Bio. Conga Bio. My mother died in March. We had a funeral in May. He was standing over the coffin, brushing hair out of my mother's face. She was very dead. Well, he came to my house one time and he just barged in. He killed, he killed my wife. I saw a car go against red light and Congo Bio just swooped in and got in the middle of it, but I don't think he got there in time. He just ran off drinking olive oil. I don't think that he could sort of come back from what he's turned because like he's not going to stop drinking olive oil. And if he doesn't stop, he is not going to stop doing the things that he currently does. Fun fact! What is the largest organ in the human body? Red team. The church organ? Correct! One point for red! I just guessed! Just kidding, the answer was skin. No points and no more skin for you. Yeah, nine, eight, seven, two, quiet down, I'm counting! Four, three, two, one. I am safe and protected at all times. I love you, Mama. Bill Asparagus was a leaf that wanted to be a superhero. He was recovering from the hard past of being a serial killer. The neighborhood he lived in was dark. There were countless crimes and deaths. It was there that he liked to eat cereal. The cereal was alive. Bill liked how loudly the fruit loops screamed when he ate them. He also kept cereal numbers hostage in the brand new King Burger that had fish in the back booth and graffiti all over it. The fish in the back booth hopped around trying to land on people's plates. Because they were depressed. depressed. Bill depressed. was not very nice to the fish. One day, he decided to kill the fish, and though depressed, depressed, they did not want to die. But Bill wanted his sushi. I love you, Mama. He packed his bags of dynamite to blow up the King Burger. Right before the detonation, Bill saw a mom and a baby fish on the floor hugging each other. After the explosion, the baby was still alive but covered in its mom's guts. It was then that he realized the harm that he was doing, and Bill changed his name to Superleaf. Superleaf had many enemies, such as the leaf blower and the gardener. However, his greatest enemy was the, the branch. branch. Also known as his mother. I love you, Mama. When he was just a bud, Bill's mother thought he was ugly, so she called her friend the wind. Hello? Hi, Wind, it's me, the branch. I've got a favor to ask. And had him blown off of her. He landed on the ground, and the leaf blower chased him into the streets, thus beginning his life as a serial killer. But 
As the new superhero, Superleaf went back to the branch to try to make amends. There was one problem. He couldn't climb the tree. Superleaf did not have a growth mindset, so he gave up on his dream to become a superhero and went back to being Bill the Serial Killer. On his way home, Bill ran into the baby fish from King Burger. Bill did not recognize the fish, but the fish recognized him. The fish threw itself in the air like a boomerang, cut off the branch, and killed Bill with his own mother. His last words... I love you, Mama. Me and my mom were eating chicken Chicken. with my dad. I suddenly laughed so hard at a bad joke joke. from my dad. Dad I choked choked on my chicken. I passed out. My mom and dad took me out of my chair, threw me against the wall. Punch me in the stomach, and I started barfing chicken all over them. My mom had to wipe her face off with a washcloth. Fun fact, I like rock family. Just kidding. Okay, that was something. Uh, let's get back to the show. Could someone remind me, please, uh, what take are we on? I think it's take four, maybe six. Hey, Bog, what's bugging you? When I have to go to Target and get a small toy and I have to get food first. Abduction. He's my brother. His name is Light. He has made me mad. I don't know why he drinks goat milk. He leaves the TV on while he goes to get food. He orders, not picks up. He only eats fast food and nothing else. He has never tasted an orange in his life. He keeps the light on in his room when he goes to sleep. And when it's morning, he turns the light off. It makes me so mad. He doesn't close the door when when he's saying goodnight to me. He keeps it wide open. Get in my bed and go to sleep and then pass out. While I'm sleeping, I play Pac-Man in my head. And then when I wake up, I drink soda. And then put milk in my soda. Why did you not lock the door that night? You've been accused of eating your aunt. Anything you'd like to say? No! What's her name? No, I didn't! What's her name? Um... What's her name? Goggle? You ate your aunt Goggle? (laughs) How does your Uncle Dobo feel about that? I don't know. Goggle's married to Dobo, right? Yeah. Yeah, I saw the pictures from your mom's wedding. Goggle and Dobo, they're a happy couple. At least they were, till you ate Goggle. Was Aunt Goggle delicious? No. What would you say she tasted like? Um, she tasted like... She tasted stinky. Did someone dare you to eat your aunt or did you just go for it? I just went for it. <laughs> Let me see if I got this straight. You go to your aunt's house. Ding dong. Oh, hi, honey. Hi, Auntie Goggle. Uh, can I talk to you for a second in private? Sure, sweetheart. Come here. Then you went in the kitchen and ate her. She said that I could eat her, so I did. And you thought that would be a wise thing to do, eat your aunt Goggle? Yes. <laughs> what about Uncle Dobo? <laughs> 
Is he sad now? Is he upset? Is he home crying? Where's my beautiful wife? Oh, I know! He's in my niece's belly! I am not sorry that I ate her. Well, you might be sorry when you find out she's still alive inside you. Who do you think called the police? What is the best way to clean up your act? Is it A, try harder, B, think before you speak, C, seek out honesty, or D, bleach? Purple team. Bleach. Bleach is the word, is the word that you heard. It's got groove, it's got meaning. Yeah! Bleach is the time, is the place, is the motion. Bleach is... I like chowder. Chowder. Ugly babies trying to sleep. No more chow chow for you, you. Hey, Bug. What's bugging you? Ah, when I get told what to do. Hey, stop setting off bombs. Fun fact. Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, famously loved eating peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Why am I even counting for you? There's a countdown clock in the corner. If you can't count at this point, you certainly can't find Ugly Baby. And spoiler alert, he's right there in the middle. Another job of your skin besides protection is uh, thermal regulation. It, it, it helps regulate your body temperature, okay? Congo Bio! I actually work for a team that is designated to stop Congo Bio. My name is Jacob. I work for the CPT, the Congo Bio Prevention Team. They're supposed to stop Congo Bio from basically drinking olive oil and doing all that. We got a call. He was just sort of at this olive oil store. What he did was he sort of knocked all the bottles off the shelf and then he just started drinking it. We brought him to a lab to study the effects on a centaur of olive oil. And what was what were the discoveries? It actually damages the frontal lobe of the brain. When they're younger, it can cause laryngitis, chicken pox, or pneumonia. But when they start to get more mature or older, instead of chicken pox, it starts to cause the virus that stays in your body. It reactivates, and it's called shingles. Do you think he'll ever turn back and uh, be the, the good conga bio that we used to know? With this much damage done to his brain, I don't think it'll work. So you're not worried about the the things that people are saying about Conga Bio now? No. You'd be happy with, with, like, would you be interested in going into business with him? Depends what kind. I mean, he's got the salty ice cream shops. Would you? We could do a little collab. If you were able to talk with Conga Bio, um, what would you say? I would probably say, like, be strong. And, like, you should, like... Be more careful about like what you're doing and like think about like how it would react to other people. I think that he was good, but I don't think he can turn back if he doesn't have help. Right now the world does not need Conga Bio. Conga Bio! Hey, no flirting with the doors. You're 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 cool with eating off the ground? Is that is that a fact? Is that a fact? Okay, hold hold steady. Hold, hold steady. No 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 no. No, get away, get away. 
Oh, get, get, excuse me, excuse me. It's not, get, it's not a trough. Okay, We're not you, security. Get away, get away. Here you are. All right. Wait, you're using your hand. Oh my goodness, there. Wow. 